um, pop wrench answers. But, uh, of course, they were just making things up. They're just answering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, you know, when, we, when you were singing that that, that uh, power book that I put on in the back, remember that? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. That's um, one of the dancers had this costume on. Do you remember yes. that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, not exactly, but he had, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think he had a cape or, or anything. I don't know what a cape was from. I didn't have a cape, but uh, he had the headdress. Yeah, and you can't, when you're shooting the two things, because if you want them to blow up this thing and still have the 3D quality, you can't, uh, can't shoot them too far apart. That's why I, I just I figured out over a trial and error period that an eighth of an inch was probably uh. the most you could go and make it work. Otherwise, it'll be too big and mm -hmm. it blows up. So. And, you, and you figure out this angle, like on this print here. Like, I wanted the eyes to be the focal plane, and so mm -hmm. the feathers to jump out, and then everything else to recede, sort of thing. So, to do that, you have to angle the camera just slightly so that that becomes the convergence point. Otherwise, they won't be in focus properly. You look really great in these glasses, too. It's like really interesting. It's like, wow. Probably because. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah, I started going like this, going, wow, yeah. Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I keep closing one eye and another. Oh, <laughs> Winking at him. Yeah. Well, these, really? these ones are the, that, I don't know if I was telling you one about it, but that's that light emitting capacitor stuff. So, very thin piece of paper, but it lights up a whole pan, whole sheet. And you can go really hang with it. Oh. Yeah. I said it's expensive. It's fairly expensive, but would be cheaper than doing a box like this. Because you can just use regular frame. You don't have any heat problems. Right. Heat. Well, we were thinking of using that um, some four or five years back in a uh, very large uh, commission that I was working oh, on. Yeah, but it comes down You know, because we were, it was 20 foot by 20 foot long. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And then we had two of them. So, and we ended up doing um, an LED system behind. Okay. It was an interior glass wall. Um, and but it would this would would have been what we needed. Like yeah. Well, it's, it's easy to work. It's flexible too. So mm -hmm. you but you do need this. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it, it comes with uh, power adapters, industrial right. power adapters that can run all day, you know, month in and month out. Right. 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 So they're quite you can yeah. fans. They have fans. Side. But they're actually pretty easy to work with and chip. <coughs> <coughs> There's something about really enjoyable about them without the um, glasses, especially this one, because if you look at the beadwork on the foot, the red and green, it just starts to look like the kind of motifs, eh? So I think, you know, like they just want to think works too. Yeah, it really has. Yeah, the uh, glasses as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has, yeah, and the thing I like about the animal stuff is that you, you, you know it's 3D right away, everybody knows right. it's 3D, right. but um, you know, it's kind of an interesting, I kind of just like the uh, static kind of the yeah. shifted right. color shift. But it's also the way you focus this one that yeah. uh, causes it to be so successful. Yeah. So this uh, very easy, it's like. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> 